Hello, my name is Amo Oliverio, and this presentation is a brief overview of our study, Urban Regeneration Using Biochar and Compost. This study was provided by the organizations listed on the left. Turf lawns occupy approximately 40 million acres in the U.S. These underutilized green spaces could be used for stormwater management. However, the soils are often compacted, reducing infiltration. Also, topsoil is often removed from construction sites, leaving soils of lower hydrologic groups. Therefore, the purpose of this study was to determine component ratio of soil amendments to improve soil health. Also, to hopefully provide evidence supporting biochars as a viable soil amendment component for stormwater control in West Virginia. The field site, located in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia, is primarily silt loams that are poorly drained, slow permeability, low pH, and low natural fertility. The amendment components or poultry litter biochar, hardwood biochar, which was uh, primarily maple, and U.S. compost approved leaf compost. The biochars were not sifted or rinsed. They were used as they came. 15 plots of 4.4 meter squares were randomly assigned a treatment listed on the right. Note that the poultry litter biochar was measured by weight, while the others were by volume. Biochar blend and the compost biochar blend amendment ratios were chosen based on pH and phosphorus results after several lab trials. The compost only ratio was applied as per the West Virginia stormwater manual. Each plot, excluding the control, was rototilled to approximately six inches. After plots received amendments, they were tilled again. In the lower right, you can see green grass in some of the amended plots. These are the results of the soil testing after eight months of incubation, which are averaged by plot type. Note the levels of phosphorus. The CB, or compost biochar blend plots, increased phosphorus levels minimally, while the biochar blend and compost only plots still at high phosphorus levels after eight months. Now the target level for pH was 6.1 to 6.3 for turf lawn. Note that the compost only plots average to almost neutral. Bulk density is an indicator of soil compaction. The only plot type to change bulk density significantly was the compost only plots. It'd be interesting to see how these values change over time as soil life develops and soil aggregates form. Increasing the water infiltration rate is extremely valuable in stormwater management. The only plot type to significantly improve the infiltration rate was the compost biochar blend plots. The compost only data displayed a wide range of variants, who otherwise might have been significantly faster than the control plot. In conclusion, compost as a soil amendment added as per the West Virginia stormwater manual does improve bulk density and soil health, but at the cost of nutrient leaching. Adding biochar blends to the compost could reduce the leaching while still improving infiltration and soil health. Also nutrient testing each site that these BMPs would be implemented would be key to determining the ratios. For in the future, it'll be important to continually test at this site, and we'd be able to look a little closer at if these compost and biochar effects are long lasting. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to give a special thank you to all the partners and associates who've helped me in this project, given me advice, it has been priceless. Thank you very much.